good evening in Rio de Janeiro. It's England against Brazil. They're coming towards the end of the first half. England are a goal up. Let's go to Brian Moore. The line goes round the keeper. And England sensationally have just gone into the lead right on half time with a goal by John Barr. He went right through the entire Brazilian defence round the keeper and put it past Roberto Costa. What a sight that was for English eyes here. And in fact, England performed really quite creditably up to this point. They might have gone a goal behind in the very first minute. Shilton made a great save. He was forced to make another save before 10 minutes were up. Hayley had a shot chipped away by the Brazilian goalkeeper. And England more and more began to get into this game, began to defend well, and then sensationally this huge crowd in the Maracanã Stadium in Rio was virtually silenced when John Barnes ran past, I would say, four to five defenders and gathered pace as he went, kept his head superbly, and would you believe it, put the ball past Roberto... Costa. Well, there we are. It's marvellous news over there in Rio de Janeiro. Just as you were joining us, England, who'd played really well, took the lead. It was a sensational goal scored by John Barnes, running from deep inside his own half. England had been holding on well. In fact, they'd uh, survived a fair amount of Brazilian pressure early on. Come into the game pretty well. Mark Hately did well uh, with a decent header. And then right on half-time came that goal scored by John Barnes. It was a sensational effort. As I say, we're going to show it to you in just a couple of moments. We've got the two lads here, Jimmy Greaves and Ian St. John. Jimmy, your view so far? Uh, well, it was an even game up until the last half a minute, Jimmy. And, and Barnes has just scored one of the best goals I've ever seen scored in an England shirt. Yeah, sensational. Great goal, Jim. And uh, I think England just about deserve, I think, Jimmy, to, to be ahead because they fought terrific. I mean, in the first 45 minutes, they've played very, very well. Better, I think, than, than you and I thought they would do. Yeah, yeah well, Brazil are, are, have not really produced anything no. too great here. And England have held on, and they've gradually got into the game, Jim. And as I say, with sensational stuff just coming up. Surely we're going to see the goal in just, just a couple of moments' time. But uh, until then, I mean, we've, we've been watching the whole of, of the first half. It had been a very, very respectable performance by England, who'd gone over there, Ian, well, without a real prayer. Well, they, they had, Jim, and in the early part of the game, you know, Brazil were on top of, obviously, the crowd, you know, getting behind them and one thing or another. But once England settled down and defended well, the crowd turned on the Brazilian players, and England gradually got... got back into the game and towards the end of the half always looked as if they might score a goal okay we can now have a little look at that goal you've all been waiting for it it's a tremendous effort well worth seeing and uh, here it comes for you now it turned very quickly when things don't go well but it's still nil nil coming towards half time hastily for england that's a good ball there for barnes now can he take leandro john barnes now it might go all the way for england barnes He scored, and England amazingly are into the lead, right on half-time. His first goal for England, and what a place to get it. John Barnes, that long, amazing dribble. And Barnes here in Rio has performed a miracle there. What a sight that was. Just look at it again, through the entire Brazilian defence, with marvellous presence of mind, goes round the keeper, and England sensationally have just gone into the lead, right on half-time, with a goal by John Barnes. Well, sensational goal. Jimmy Greaves, John Barnes have joined a very exclusive club there because only you and Colin Bell have scored in American now. Yes. But surely that goal topped I, a lot. I think that was a little bit better than Colin's or myself. I've got to admit <laughs> that. That, yeah. that was absolutely fabulous. Mm. Ian, I mean, we talk about great goals scored by uh -huh. Brazilians, but I mean, for an individual <laughs> yes. effort, Tremendous. they don't come any better. But I think what, what you might also say is that young Haitley started to move off, Jim, controlled the ball lovely, turned and played a great ball out to the flanks. Now, he's had a good game, hasn't he, Jim? I, I think, he's, he's you know, Hitler's played very well. He's done very well, uh, Ian. He's taken a lot of buffeting, hasn't he, yeah. by, by the Brazilian defence? Because what people don't realise, the back four of the Brazilians, uh, they all kick a bit, you yeah. know? Yeah. And they get their bodies uh, in between you and the ball, and, and they really give you a pace in. And he's, he's ridden it well, as shown sure. Mark. OK, well, we're going to have you both uh, back in a couple of minutes' time. We're going to show you highlights... <laughs> 
And welcome back. It's half-time in Rio. England are a goal up against Brazil. We've pieced together the highlights of the first half for you. And watch out for a brilliant piece of work from John Barnes. And the East for Chamberlain finding Woodcock for England. Ooh, Woodcock's pass. Stay straight to Roberto. And Renato coming in early on. And Shilton saving well there. As Renato came in, a mistake of England's making. And it very nearly cost them a goal in the opening minute. They can be so dangerous from these sort of positions. Three men in the English wall. And Shilton busy lining it up. And Zenon, the captain, behind it. Aziz has gone in there and curled right in there, straight at the keeper. Well, Roberto's in there, Aziz is in there, but Duxbury was there too. Zenon playing it now for Tato. Will he chip it back in? He has. Oh, and Aziz missed the chance there. Zenon, and a great save by Shilton. Brazil's captain so close to putting his side into the lead with 10 minutes gone. Shilton, not for the first time in the game here, saving superbly, a terrible miss kick though by Aziz, a fine piece of keeping by Shilton. Oh, Watson missed out, and Moses' shot is wide of the goal. Leandro, oh, misunderstanding there. Here comes Chamberlain. He's got the pace, he's got the support, and the support comes from Robson. Robson going all the way to the byline, calling for a chip. Hately's there with a header and pushed away by keeper Roberto Costa. Good break there by England. Some lovely play by Robson. And that's what Mark Hately is in the side for, to provide that option to get up well as he does here. And the keeper was happy to tip that one away. Sato. No foul play on, says the referee. Again, that cross curling in towards Roberto. Not inbound that time to Zenon. Over the top. It's turned very quickly when things don't go well, but it's still nil-nil, coming towards half-time. Hastily for England. That's a good ball there for Barnes. Now, can he take Leandro? John Barnes now. Might go all the way for England. Barnes! are into the lead right on half time it's first goal for England and what a place to get it John Barnes that long amazing dribble and Barnes here in Rio has performed a miracle there what a sight that was just look at it again through the entire Brazilian defence with marvellous presence of mind goes round the keeper and England sensationally have just gone into the lead right on half time yes right on half time with that unbelievable goal from because the Brazilian team are out Why? there already oh. don't forget we're going to see the second half live let's just give you a reminder of the two teams are playing out there the England team Shilton Duxbury and Sanson the, the two defenders and Watson and Fennick in the middle there, Ray Wilkins and Brian Robson, just the two in midfield. Chamberlain and Barnes on the wing, although they've been tucking in, and Hately the new man, and Tony Woodcock with his experience up front. And the Brazilian team, well, there we are, Costa, the goalkeeper, Leandro, you remember him from the World Cup, Ricardo making his debut at centre-back, Moser, a big sweeper, Junior, brilliant fullback. Midfield, Perez, Denon and Assis, Renato up front with Roberto and... Uh, Tato number 11. We're now going to go back to the American R, live to Brian Moore. Well, welcome back to the American R Stadium in Rio. It's about half past five in the evening here. The temperature's still into the mid-70s. But it's really going to warm up in the next 45 minutes as this huge crowd here in a stadium that was built for the 1950 World Cup and holds a little under 200,000. Well, it's not full, but it's a mighty crowd, will be bellowing on their Brazilian side in an effort to save the night here against England. England leading 1-0, John Barnes' his marvellous goal right on half-time. Last time England beat Brazil was 
28 years ago in 1956 at Wembley by 4-2 in the days of Billy Wright and Sir Stanley Matthews played that day. Uh, Brazil then in the yellow shirts, blue shorts, England in an all-white strip with red socks, attacking the goal to our left England, Robson to Woodcock, who looked as though he was feeling a little bit of his hamstring uh, during a part of that first half. He was doubtful until a couple of days ago. An offside flag up against Mark Hately, but the uh, referee from Chile chose to ignore it. Here comes Tato, one of five new caps in this Brazilian side. Now the number five, Junior, one of their heroes from the 1982 World Cup. Tremendous player, the fullback, playing to his other fullback, Leandro. He was another member of the 1982 World Cup squad and the only two left in this side, in fact. Here's Renato, who might easily have scored in the opening minute of the game, but for Shilton. Good work by Sanson now for England. It really is a question because you can be sure the Brazilians will come whether England's defence can hold on. Zenon, the captain. Curiously, the captain and making his first appearance for Brazil. Assis, another player making his first appearance at the age of 31 on the far side there, number 10. Now number 11 is Tato. Aziz. Oh, it fell wide of Junior. Hately was able to find Woodcock. Gets it back again to Mark Hately. Tony Woodcock once more. Chamberlain tucked in behind him. In all that talk of 4-2-4 that Bobby Robson would employ, but there's no doubt about it that both Barnes and Chamberlain have done a fair bit of work in the midfield for England tonight, leaving just Woodcock and Hately up front. Well, the stage really is set for a magnificent second half. And England truly have battled with tremendous spirit here. After a really shaky start when, but for Shilton, they might have been two down in the first ten minutes. As Watson and Fennick were beginning to feel their way, their combination together for the first time at the centre of the defence. But they held out, grew in confidence as the, second, as the first half went on. And then, of course, that marvellous moment with John Barnes. Well, here's Robson. Absolutely inspirational again in the midfield for England. Insisted today, incidentally, on wearing the number seven shirt. He'd been wearing the number eight, but he prefers, he says, the number seven. Well, at the moment, we haven't got to worry about that because it's Zenon bringing it up. The captain for Brazil. Fennick was there doing a good job for England, but it only comes as far as Renato. Why for Leandro, the fullback? You'll see that their defenders and midfield players love to get into attacking positions, but here's Renato. Sanson holding him off well, and he had a good first half, Kenny Sanson. Did a fair amount of tacking in his own right as well. Pires, the busy little midfield player. Finding Zen on his captain. Tato on the far side. And now on for Aziz. Left footy cross coming in towards Renata again. It was Sanson who got it half away. Pires brought down, free kick. This could be trouble for England. We know from old how devastating they can be just outside the penalty area. It's true there's no Rivolino in the side these days, but Roberto, the number nine, has a blistering free kick. Zenon curl a dangerous one in at Shelton in the first half. And it looks as though it might be Roberto, indeed it is, the number nine who's lining it up. Mr. Dynamite, they call him. Although Zenon is also placed just behind it. Now it's a wall lined up. The curler goes in straight into Shelton, no problem. won here in the Maracanã Stadium in Brazil, leading by a goal to nil if you've just joined us, with four minutes of the second half gone. Chamberlain. Bobby Robson was telling me, what, about a half an hour before the start, I hope everybody at home will agree with my philosophy that we've got to go for them. I know if Brazil were coming at me with 4-2-4, I'd be worried, but it really is a night 
when Chamberlain and Barnes can truly make a name for themselves. Well, I'd imagine little did Bobby know at that moment what a night it could be for John Barnes, scoring that sensational goal for England just before half-time. Shilton with the clearance. Over Leandro's head, and here is Barnes. He's an experienced fullback, Leandro, and he's in the mood now, Barnes. Brought down, free kick, given away by Moser. Who, as you can see from that picture there, is none too happy with the support he got from his fullback, Leandro. And it's true that this crowd gets a little bit on the backs of the Brazilians as well when things aren't going right. Now, Wilkins... Enica behind it, Brian Robson there too, Barnes just off it, Haitley on the far side, Woodcock's in too, it's going to be Robson curling it deep to the far side to Haitley who is offside, it's a magnificent looking stadium this Maracanã but the pitch Sad to say, he doesn't quite live up to it. It's, it's a little bit bumpy. The England players were quite disappointed when they uh, got on it yesterday. And Peter Shilton was saying the thing that worries him is that you do get the occasional very nasty bump and bounce when the ball is coming to you in goal. And Ray Wilkins was saying this is why the Brazilian's touch is always so fine and delicate, because if it isn't on a pitch like this, they'd be dead. Well, they're a goal down now. And here comes Renato. And again, Sanson got to his task well. It's a pitch here where three games a week are played on it right through the year. Robson tangling with Junior. Robson winning the battle and finding Haitley. And Woodcock's up with him. The Brazilians are struggling to get back, and it's still with Haitley. Now, can he do a Barnes? He can't, but he gets a free kick right on the edge of the box. Haitley got up in an instant and thought for a moment it might have been just inside. But the referee, Cardellino from Chile, has given the free kick. And I think you'll agree there, at least from my monitor here, it did look just outside. Now, can England find something? What a sight it would be if they could find a second goal. Robson, Wilkins, Woodcock there, Fennick again. And the Chilean referee insisting on the Brazil wall being back 10 yards. Then on the captain at the moment is about two yards off the ball. Now, is Wilkins going to drive it? Is Robson going to drive it? Fennick's going to chip it. And it just went over. Well, that took the Brazilians by surprise. It was a lovely little move there. Fennick wasn't very far off the mark. It was interesting when they came here to train yesterday. There's the free kick. They didn't try any of their free kick moves because the Brazilians had been training just before. And Bobby Robson knew that one or two spies were still lurking. And he said, we'll keep them in the dark on that. Maybe only 20 minutes to six at night, but it's pitch black here in Rio now. Beautiful sunny day has left us. And here's Tato now for Brazil on the far side. And a corner given to Brazil, conceded by Duxbury. And it's going to be a Junior to take it. Roberto in there, Assis in there, Renata's in there too. A long, long curling one, and England defenders have got to handle it. Oh, a shot way off the target. Barnes really didn't get much of a clearance in there. England under siege for the moment. Chamberlain could do nothing about it. Here's little Zen on the captain for Brazil. Leandro. England under a little bit of pressure now as he finds Renato. Oh, and he's offside. Shilton with the ball now for England. Haitley, 
Bills throw. Time England played here was 1977. They got a goalless draw then. And Ray Wilkins, the only member of the England side who played on that day. Although Peter Shilton was in the squad, Ray Clements kept goal on that occasion. Here's young Ricardo making his first appearance for Brazil at the age of 19. Made in for Pires. Back again for Pires. But it fell for England and it falls for Haitley. Bond. Wilkins and Barnes keeping it in play. Well, goal kick. We talk about the players missing from the England side. In all, it's something like 15 who are either not available or are injured. Not making it easy for Bobby Robson, but same really goes to a certain extent for Brazil without people like Zico and Socrates. Falcao and Sorezzo and Oscar, the big defender, who's injured. So it's very much an experimental side for Brazil as well. At the moment, England leading by one goal to nil, 11 minutes of the second half gone. The goal scored right on half time by John Barnes. Leandro. crowd usually love that little bit of skill but when it doesn't come off and particularly when they're a goal down they're not too pleased with it Robson much more straightforward ball finding Wilkins turned on again for Haitley who's onside and Wilkins now leading the charge for England no foul given although it certainly looked like one and England have made one or two quite promising looking breaks as Brazil have pushed men forward one by Haiti two or three minutes ago, and then a combination of Haiti and Wilkins there. And here come Brazil once more. It's Zanon, their captain. Pires. Now Junior. Pires. Going to get the ball through to Roberto. And in the end, England struggling to get it away. Tato taking it up on the far side, gets his cross in. Dave Watson with his header away. Wilkins helping it on. And it only comes as far as Azzi. England under a lot of pressure now. And Shilton... Woodcock. Pires. Denon. Again, Sanson doubling back well and gets it through to Shilton. He's had a good game, Kenny Sanson. There he is. But the man he's been marking, Renato, has a tremendous amount of skill and pace. Chamberlain through to Woodcock tried to hold off his man but Ricardo was too strong for him Pires for Brazil England still holding on to 1-0 Sanson oh now Renato and Shilton saves for once Kenny Sanson was beaten but Peter Shilton wasn't and Renato had a glorious chance there to make the equaliser for Brazil. There was the slip by Sanford. Renato now on his way onto the left foot and Shilton down in a flash. At three tremendous saves that Shilton's made in this game. And that was the last in the line. It was hit with power as you could see. Junior who appears to be on his way to Italy, the man on the ball at the moment. The rumours were Naples, but I gather it's almost 95% certain he will go to the Turin club Torino. Oh. 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 Ricardo 
Here's Junior again. A little chip through towards Assis, but it was too firm, and Shilton was too quick. There's the scoreline, Brazil nil, England won. 15 minutes of the second half gone. Ricardo. Hanson and Robson. Watson, get it back safely, yes. Brazilian side on towards an equaliser as Maitley clashes there with Pires. And now Chamberlain for England. I must say the Chilean referee has let an awful lot go. But he's played some good advantages. And here's a break by Duxbury now for England. Can he get the cross in? No, Moses there for Brazil. And then Sato. But in comes Wilkins. A foul on Junior and a free kick. Moser Leandro Moser eight caps he's had he's only a youngster they have great faith in him here in Brazil but Wilkins cutting out that pass well finding Sanson safely to Robson this is not the place to make a mistake though Sanson again oh, well done they got it up to Wilkins By Moser. And goes Woodcock for a bit of the action. And Robson too. And it comes through in the end to Barnes, who is fractionally offside. Junior. He's trying to get Ricardo. The central defender has come up to link up with the attack now. So many Brazilians are going forward to put pressure on England. It's a real test of English character now. Leading a goal to nil. Sato getting no respite at all from Mike Duxbury. Brazil throw. Pires from the midfield. Aziz from the midfield. 31 years old, making his first appearance. Then on another making his first appearance. He's gone past Robson. Trying to flick it in towards Roberto, a little touch by him, and it didn't get to Renato. And the crowd weren't happy with that, as Sanson gets it back comfortably to Schulte. the ball away towards Woodcock but it falls instead for Wilkins here's Sanson Wilkins oh nasty challenge there by Renato a free kick to England Wilkins with it Woodcock making himself available Pierce there with him Barnes also available and he got his cross in well and another one has made it two and Barnes provided that one well no wonder he's delighted and England players and I'm sure everybody at home can hardly believe it what a lovely deep cross in by John Barnes who scored the first goal sensationally, and there was so little room to squeeze it in, but somehow, Hately did it. 19 minutes of the second half gone. England two up. Oh, the Brazilians were looking for a penalty there, but the referee said no. They're warming up another striker, Ronaldo. 
because suddenly Brazil have got a crisis. As he... Chipped in once more, Watson getting that away. They'll throw everything at England now, but England have that two-goal cushion. Period. As he... Across in once more. And Shilton there for England. Sensational events here in the Maracanã Stadium. England 2-0 to the good. They're going to take off Roberto, the number nine, the striker. And on goes Ronaldo. I understand you've lost pictures, but I'm sure you won't want to lose touch with the Maracanã Stadium at the moment. We'll continue in sound and hope we get those pictures back. Ronaldo is on as a substitute for Brazil. And they need to do something fairly quickly now. Zenon, just outside the England penalty area. And Ronaldo, beaten away by Duxbury, finds Woodcock, finds Wilking, and Haitley is well offside. And they're going to bring another substitute on now. Vladimir, the number 21, is coming on for Brazil. Two substitutes allowed, plus a goalkeeper. It's Tato on the far side. It's Junior. As he... Zenon. Renato for Brazil, Ronaldo, Renato, just outside the English penalty area, and Robson gets it away, I gather you've got pictures back and it's a good moment to get them back, as England in with a chance of getting another one, and Woodcock in the end, forced away, as Brazil was stretching forward in some confusion now, Woodcock on his way, in the end, he's foiled, and the shot goes wide. Bringing off the fullback, Leandro. And bringing on Vladimir. Leandro surrounded by over 50 radio stations taking the game. Up and down South America. And they'll interview just about everything that moves in the Maracanã Stadium. If you've just joined me, let me again give you the sensational news that England are leading Brazil here in Rio by two goals to nil. A huge crowd almost stunned by this. This doesn't happen very often. And they've got very important games coming up against Argentina and Uruguay. Here's Aziz. Comes to Haiti. Who's coming up from the crowd? This is not the Brazil they like to see. No foul there. Oh, yes, there was. It was a free kick. Sanson will take it. Twenty one minutes of the game remaining. Gather you've lost pictures again, it must be infuriating for you. Let me uh, continue as best I can to give you a complete sound picture of what's happening here. It's a free kick to Brazil just outside their penalty area. Tony Woodcock wasting a bit of time and uh, annoying the Brazilian defenders. It's with Zenon on the far side. Brazil knowing that they desperately need a goal now to get back into this game. But Duxbury now taking it up again for England. Forcing Brazil back. Robson finding Chamberlain, taking them down that right flank, going past the defender. 
Vladimir crossed into Robson, a little chip by him, and it almost came to Woodcock. It comes instead to Barnes, his shot deflected, and the keeper gathering for Brazil. Aziz. As Brazil now take it into the England half on the far side of the field. Vladimir finds Sato or Reinaldo in towards Renato. The flag is up for offside. A free kick to England. 20 minutes of the game remaining. England leading by two goals to nil. I understand the pictures are back with you. A picture of Peter Shilton with Mike Duxbury there, about to get a free kick underway for England. Four matches England have played here in the Maracanã Stadium. They lost 2-0 in 1959, 5-1 in 1964. They lost 2-1 in 1969, and then drew 0-0 here in 1977. Gloriously at the moment, at any rate, in 1984, England leading by 2-0, as Chamberlain now tries to do a Barnes and get in behind that Brazilian defence. He gets a corner. Which Barnes will take. And the Brazilians get that one away to Tato. Moza. Here come Brazil again. With Junior. Zenon. Ronaldo. And well, the shot was way off the mark there from Tato. Well, let me just bring in Ian St. John for a moment. Back in London. What do you think of it now, Saint? Well, Brian, I must say, I don't think England will ever have a better chance of winning in Brazil than tonight. They're doing everything right at the moment. And the one thing I would say is I hope the defenders don't start charging forward and trying to get another goal because all they need to do now is sit at the back, make sure they don't make any mistakes there, and let the forwards make the breaks because I think if they play that way, they might even get another goal. And I did say at half-time, by the way, that young Haitley might cause them some trouble in there, and I'm delighted to see that he got that goal. Yes, that's good news indeed. And we must look then to see that the likes of Fennec and Watson and Sanson and Duxbury stay firm and resolute at the back and to see whether the Hapleys and the Woodcocks and the Barneses and the Chamberlains can even add to this lead up front. But certainly the first priority, as Ian says, England must hold on to what they've got. 2-0 the score, 17 minutes remaining. Because you can be sure if Brazil get one, the din here will be almost unbearable and the pressure on England will be intense. But at the moment, it's Robson. Oh, I thought for a moment he'd given it away, but Duxbury gets it back to Shilton. A really vital 10 minutes or so coming up because if England can hold for these 10 minutes, then it might just be more than Brazil could possibly manage. At the moment, it's Barnes taking the game to them. And now it's Robson. Little cross coming in, an offside flag is up, Mark Chamberlain. I'm sure this will cheer Graham Roberts up in hospital, the Spurs defender who's down with appendicitis. He's had his appendix operation the day before yesterday. He's much more cheerful when Bobby Robson visited him today due out of hospital on Tuesday and due to fly home on Saturday. Well, the way his teammates are performing, I'm sure, will cheer him up. Zenon, though, for Brazil. That's a free kick. This could be a problem. Well, Roberto, who normally takes those stunning free kicks, has been substituted. Moza, who is a defender with a fantastic shot, is there behind it. Junior also. Well, that's no good. 
good and Junior's shot goes over the bar and who appears to be on his way to Italian football with Torino was first spotted incidentally playing in one of the many thousand games that you see every day here on Copacabana Beach or Ipanema Beach well, here's the replay of that magical moment when Haitley scored the second goal for England England leading by two goals to nil. Fraction under a quarter of an hour left. England needing to hold themselves. And they've got Clive Allen warming up. Robson getting it away. Space now for Woodcock to make a run. Haitley an ally on this side of the field. Barnes trying to get up. Woodcock being checked and finds Chamberlain. program we've just taken over from is surprise surprise but I think the biggest surprise on the night has got to be this one England leading 2-0 with 14 minutes to go and England making a substitution Tony Woodcock is coming off and Clive Allen comes on for his first cap 15 goals in the season for Queen's Park Rangers and getting thought it would be an early touch in fact he does from Haiti but he's offside and Clive who in his time certainly I remember one goal at West Ham this season was really what one might call a Brazilian type goal a little turn and a little jink and a shot England's back four firmly in line, supported by Robson standing just in front of them more work to do now as Brazil take it up Zenon sweeping it wide for Pires Ronaldo has such terrible trouble with his knees, knee injuries and then has trouble there as England take it up again, another great foraging run here from Brian Robson inside for John Barnes, Clive Allen's waiting there, Haitley with his arm raised on the far side, here's Wilkins Robson offside against Barnes 13 minutes left England leading by two goals to nil Barnes and Haitley the scorers again with Zenon Ronaldo the Duxbury calmly back whistles coming up from the crowd still 12 minutes left some of the disenchanted Brazilians here in the Maracanã Stadium beginning to drift away Duxbury Chamberlain back it goes it may not be very positive but you have to admit it's safe not a time to take chances. England leading 2-0, 11 minutes left. They came here a beleaguered football team. They could just go away a triumphant one. It's with Wilkins. And if there was pressure on manager Bobby Robson, my word, a victory here would lift a lot of it. Clive Allen. I think for... Chamberlain certainly will be pressure on uh, the Brazilian manager Edu who's got the job for three matches would you believe to see how he makes out here's Assis played on again for Renato but Sanson sticking so close and a corner given Sanson thought it was a goal kick desperate for a goal to claw themselves back into the game. Junior, the man who looks as though he might try to engineer one, but not on that occasion. And Duxbury. 
for England, making the break. Well, as long as he doesn't go too far forward and leave a flank exposed there. Because here come Brazil again with Assis. Vladimir. Sato on the far side. Good left foot. Cross in. And that time it was Dave Watson getting it away. Watson making his first appearance, remember, for England. It means now he's an England player that Norwich have to pay Liverpool another £100,000 as a part of a transfer deal. Then on. Good challenge again that time by Allen, but Wilkins gave it away. Sanson was there in the nick of time for England. Brazil swarming around that England penalty area now as Tato on the far side, the cross coming in. And Benny got that one away. But everybody now back for England as Brazil seek to get this goal that would at least give them a chance. 2 0 down are Brazil. Renato, number seven. Oh, and fell for Robson. ball forward towards Allen but there's Moser who's quick finding Vladimir finding Pires nine minutes to go England leading 2-0 and Duxbury gets it back calmly to Shilton crowd are swarming away now They came in their tens of thousands, knowing that Brazil were out-and-out favourites. There'll be a few long faces around Rio tonight. Football means so very much to them here. Long back pass from Wilkins. I was told, too, that bookmakers back home were saying that England were 6-1 to one against here tonight, which... I think in a two-horse race, as somebody said, that's, they are pretty insulting odds. Well, they've been made to look a bit sick if that, in fact, was the case. 2-0. A little over seven minutes left. See the crowd there beginning to drift. And let's just hope England don't cave in in these last minutes. Watson finding Wilkins. The midfield's done a marvellous job for England tonight. Wilkins and Robson, no doubt about that. Here's Clive Allen. And here's Barnes, who got England on the way with that superb goal. And offside the goal against Haitley. Free kick. big pitch this one as well as being a slightly bumpy one and Ray Wilkins made the point to me yesterday that England have got to hold themselves together as a team or else be destroyed and I have to say tonight so far and I hope I'm not tempting Providence that they've held themselves together and they've looked a good solid combination but wait here's Assis and on the far side it's Tato did I speak too soon Vladimir is making a break from the back but again, England, and it was Chamberlain who was right back there, who did the good defensive job. And then Duxbury doing a Brazilian on Brazil. And a free kick to England. Well, Mike Duxbury would be glad to get a good game under his belt. He's had one or two little accidents for England lately, including that one last week at Wembley against Russia. And he slipped and provided the Russians with their first goal. A quality player and he just needs a good game without any mistake like that really then to believe it himself games coming up on this tour remember in Uruguay and in Chile tremendous start at the moment with six minutes left now and England leading 2-0 here's Junior making another driving run for Brazil finding Assis on the far side here's Assis Junior, but again, 
Brazil just can't get a move going together, but now maybe they can. Played in once more, Watson was there. And Junior now. And again, Peter Shilton is there to save England. When suddenly it looks as though they might get in. Five minutes left, as you can see. And England 2-0 up here in Rio. There was Junior put in, and Shilton again, immaculate. Hately gathering this one and controlling it well. Robson trying to get Allen on his way. A foul against the England substitutes by Pires and a free kick once more to England. Inside the last five minutes on my watch now. And an offside against Clive Allen. Free kick to Brazil. They want to take it quickly. Wilkins. Here's Hakeley. It's Ricardo backpedaling under pressure from Hakeley. And Hakeley concedes the free kick. Well, who would have thought? And I should think Mark Hakeley was one of the last to think a few months ago that he'd be playing for England here in the Maracanã Stadium. Least of all that he'd score and Seemingly helping them on to a victory. But here's another chance now as Robson goes right through and it's just wide of the post. So very close, England's captain for making it number three. Catching out the Brazilians with a lovely break from the midfield. Three minutes are left on my watch. The official scoreboard says four. There's precious little time for Brazil to save themselves, but here they come again. Assis. To Junior. Just about their most experienced international. Can he still find something for them? Assis again. Tato on the far side. There's the cross coming in, and once again, it's Penick who's there for England to get it away. Here it is. Now Sampson stopping him, and then Robson turning it up. Renato, this could be trouble, no. England again are there. And once more, it's Terry Finnick. No complaints about the England back four tonight after that very shaky opening ten minutes. Wilkins putting it away into touch. Two minutes on my watch remaining. And England 2-0 up. Brazil. It's not the best side Brazil could put out, but it's not the best side England could put out. Ronaldo trying to find Renato, but Sanson is right there with him again, and Sanson wins that little battle and gets it basically back to Shilton and gets some applause from his England teammates as well for it. Below me, I can see Bobby Robson, and what a night it'll be for him as well. If England can just hold it now for a little more than a minute. What a boost for England with the World Cup games coming up early next season. And Barnes takes it up again. And the whistle has gone for an offside. I make it now one minute. So it's certainly got to be a sensational finish if Brazil are going to save it now. But you never know. And there might be a bit of time to be added to stoppages, but not a lot. Wilkins battling away, having his shirt virtually pulled off him and giving England the free kick. He's just about given everything, Ray Wilkins, tonight. And the same for Robson. And in fact, the whole England team come away from the Maracanã Stadium with... Great credit here. Referee looking at his watch. I make it about 15 seconds left. Chamberlain trying to get there first. Assis taking it up. Be even nicer to finish with a clean sheet. And back 
back it'll go to Shilton. Make it easy, he says, to Terry Fenwick. Don't try anything silly. Final whistle. England have won it. The first time they've won here in Maracanã Stadium. The first time they've beaten Brazil in 28 years. And against all the odds, they've done it here in 1984. With a stupendous goal by John Barnes right on half-time. A fine header by Mark Hatley in the second half and a really excellent all-round team performance, which I'm sure has delighted everybody at home. Let me hand you back then to Jim Rosenthal, Jimmy Greaves, and Ian St. John with a joyous news. Brazil nil, England two. Well, what a magnificent night. First of all, my apologies for the break-up in picture there. I can assure you we were as annoyed about it as you were, but Brian Moore's radio training standing him in good stand there. Let's go over to Jimmy Greaves. Jimmy, just evaluate that result for us. Well, it's one of the great England wins. It's got to be. You cannot go to a place like the Maracanã in front of 150,000 people against any Brazilian team. Admittedly, I think they were a very poor Brazilian team. But taking all that aside, it goes down as one of the great wins of uh, all time. Ian, Bobby Robson has had a terrific amount of criticism. He said yeah. over there he was going to keep his nerve. He expected uh -huh. the players to keep their nerve as well. What's your evaluation of Bobby Robson tonight? Well, I think Bobby Robson, uh, obviously, as, as Brian was saying, will be a delighted man tonight. And I'm, I'm delighted for him because I know the pressure that he's been under. He's stuck to his guns. He's played what he wanted to play, which is an attack in formation. And he's been slated in the press for doing that. But I think tonight it's been justified. Now, I know that as Jimmy said, the Brazilians weren't the best. And I think, Jimmy, you know, with the wingers there, it may be a point of the future. Yeah. Well, what we've got to do now, Ian, is, is justify that win, isn't yeah. it? So too many times in the past we've gone and, and uh, won in sensational way, only to be let down That's by right. uh, future results. And what we've got to do now, Jim, is say, right, we, let's build on this win. Mm. Could this mm. be the start of something? Very big? quick comment from you, Jimmy, about the young players, Watson and Hately. They all played super. I mean, you can't criticise England on a night like tonight, Jim. No, you can't. No, it's all, it's 10 out of 10, Jim, for everybody tonight. Sorry. Jimmy, Ian, thank you both very much indeed. Well, a magnificent night really for England over there in Rio. England beating Brazil for the very first time over there and getting our South American tour off to a great start. I hope you've enjoyed the game. Another outstanding night for England, for Haitley and Barnes. Bye-bye. coverage from